spirit this morning with uh, a good friend of Denise and I's, Leanne Crane, and she experienced um, a great difficulty a number of years back, and I've invited her here today to tell us about it. Uh, Leanne, on, on July 3rd, 2007, your life was turned upside down. Tell us what happened. It was, Jamie. Um, I received a phone call that morning that my son, Henry, who was just 21, had been uh, hit by a car. He was a senior at the University of Florida. Uh, it was the summer B session, and he was uh, going as a representative of Campus Crusade for Christ. He was there, he was going there to uh, welcome them to the campus and to invite them to a meeting the next night. So he was, he was engaged in ministry and he was. serving others. He and, was. Wow. And I was asked how quickly I could come, that uh, the situation was grave. When we finally arrived at uh, Shands, uh, they told us um, that um, after many hours of tests and procedures that um, Henry's body was no longer going to function for him. He was not going to be able to survive the uh, injuries that he had sustained. Henry, when he was 19 years old, had signed a living will stating that uh, his wish was uh, to not be left on life support and to, in fact, be an organ donor. So it actually made my course of action a lot easier, and it had a certain sense of peace about it as well. But Henry, having made that decision, um, already and had that conversation with you helped you out a lot. It was a gift that Henry gave to me and to the people that knew him and that loved him because we knew what he wanted. Mm -hmm. But the greater gift was the gift that he gave to those who received his organs. Well, I know of three people whose lives were actually saved by organs that Henry donated. And then he also was a tissue and um, eye uh, cornea uh, transplant uh, donor. But I know that one donor can affect 50 lives with the tissue uh, donation. So his, uh, his gift has um, been significant. How would you say that your, your relationship with God has changed given the experience of Henry's death and the tragedy that you've had to go through? Well, my relationship with God has evolved, certainly. In the beginning, I think there was an awful lot of shock and there was a reliance on uh, my faith and on the people around me who had faith. Those were the strongest support system for me. Um, as time went on, I began to wonder and to question um, my faith, the existence of God, um, all of the doubts that one can have certainly uh, affected me, and I certainly went through those times. As my grief has become more gentle, because I believe older grief is more gentle, I've also seen how very much God was in this with me. He was always with me. And I see now that he is continuing to light the path for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul talks a lot in the scripture that we're looking at today. He talks a lot about pressing on and moving into God's future. Um, how, how have you felt like you've been able to keep moving into God's future for you in the midst of this incredible loss? Well, I believe that we are here on this earth to love each other and to care for each other. And I know that that is one of God's greatest commandments, love one another, love your neighbor as yourself. So every morning when I wake up, I thank God for the opportunity that maybe today my life will make a difference in someone else's. And if it does, it's because the light of God is shining through me. And so Every day I try, to, I try to make my faith be a big part of what people see. I'm not out there praising God, to, so to speak, but I am trying to show God's love. It's wonderful to be remembered for the life that you lived, but it's also wonderful to be remembered for the life you gave. Yeah.